Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Congress is now moving forward with a bill that will have serious ramifications for all Americans by blatantly violating the freedoms guaranteed by the Fourth Amendment if it becomes law. The USA Liberty Act has passed the House Judiciary Committee by a vote of 27 to 8, and as Congressman Justin Amash noted, all privacy advocates should be concerned about the overwhelming support the bill is receiving from Congress. The Liberty Act passed Committee 27 to 8. It allows the government to search our private data without a warrant in violation of the Fourth Amendment, Amash wrote on Twitter. It's another bill, like the Freedom Act, that further violates our rights under the guise of protecting our rights. As Amash implied, the USA Liberty Act provides the opposite of liberty for Americans. Instead, the purpose of the bill is to reauthorize and create additional loopholes for Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, otherwise known as FISA, which is set to expire on December 31, 2017. Now, the science surrounding the USA Liberty Act is nothing new from the time the USA Patriot Act was passed on fear-based propaganda in 2001. The United States government has focused and used trendy names such as freedom and liberty as an appeal while working with the mainstream media to politicize any and every tragic attack in order to convince the American public that they must give up their liberties in order to ensure temporary security. Well, you know, uh, I've got nothing to hide. If it keeps me safe, by golly, and we bust a few more terrorists, they can, if they think i got some sort of connection, they can look at my data, you know. I mean, geez, it keeps me safe, right? I, I, anything the government does is good because it keeps us safe. All right, folks. Uh, um, you know, the, these folks in Washington, D.C., they are so manipulated, manip manipulated, excuse me, and controlled. Um the deep state. The deep state is, is, is completely behind this. Uh, this is another erosion of our liberties, our freedoms, this Liberty Act. What a crock of bung this is. I mean, it's just another way for them to get access to our information to suit their purposes. This isn't liberty. This is the antithesis of liberty. Don't trust these people in Washington, folks. But there's so much more on this. I'll leave you a link so you can read the whole thing. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you, please, to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. The Kindle's only $1.99. If you're signed up for the Kindle Unlimited program, you can read it for free. The paperback is a modest $7.99. And this is fiction the deep state does not want you to read. It is gritty. It is edgy. It is timely. It is today. It is uh, It is. Christian end times fiction without one iota of fluff. It is about what's going on right now, especially behind the scenes. If you're following world events and tracking the machinations of the deep state, this is a book for you. Check it out. You can also read chapter one for free. It's called Fake News. That is also linked below. So you can read the chapter one for free and meet uh, Dave Jamison, indie news reporter. And of course, uh, it may just wet your whistle for the rest of the book. There's also a link to some music of mine down there as well, folks. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led to. And most importantly of all, ladies and gentlemen, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you and I will see you soon.